Hello, I'm John Gunther. I'm an architect, a historian, a writer, and one who loves preservation and, and appreciates the fact that we stand on the shoulders of those who go before us. Thank you so much for this wonderful visit to the Wainwright tomb by Lewis Sullivan. This is truly a remarkable treasure, an architectural treasure, not only of St. Louis, but nationally and internationally. I consider this to be one of the most perfect works of architecture to be found anywhere. Every square inch of this has been thought about. It is completely integrated from its overall form to the minute detail. So thoughtfully composed and really rewards one with what I call a second glance architecture. When, when you come back and you see it again and again and again, it rewards you. You see something new each and every time. It is a, a fitting monument to this great family, the Wainwrights, one of the only tombs uh, unmarked here in the cemetery. And um, so welcoming. I'm sitting here on an entry bench on one side. These arms reach out and welcome you and allow you to pause and reflect and meditate upon this special place and the family within. And as I look about and study every joint pattern in the limestone, it's so thoughtfully interlocked and composed, so beautifully proportioned based upon the golden section, which is proven over time to be the most perfect proportion of the form in architecture. It's composed of very, uh, very basic, simple, but powerful geometry capped with this beautiful dome atop a cubic form. Each side is, is, um, is unique in its own way. Dan, we've talked about each side representing the four uh, phases of life, and it's up to those who visit to interpret which side means what to that person. But certainly it celebrates life and, and, and the four cycles of life here. Truly a masterwork, something to behold, and I would encourage each and every one of you to come out and visit this place in person to truly appreciate it.